me is so good. I wish I could send some home to my little sis. Raphael, what are you doing here? Oh, I was just enjoying some of this roast. Did you want a bite? No, no. I meant, what are you doing here? This isn't the dining hall. <laughs> That's funny. Of course I know this isn't the dining hall. You know that, and yet you're stuffing your face here rather than where it's appropriate. You're not even seated. Is that the best way to eat? If you think so, let's sit down. <sighs> you're missing the point. At least use a plate. I don't have a plate with me, so there's nothing I can do about that now. But since when are you so proper, Ingrid? I'm not proper at all. You're just downright crude. Have you no respect for yourself and your journey to knighthood? Knights must work from a very young age to be upstanding in all facets. You are making a mockery of all that we stand for, you! Slow down! I can't do all this listening while I'm trying to eat. Disgusting! Now you've spilled gravy all over your shoes and your chin. You'd better wipe that up. Ooh. Now you need everything to be neat and tidy? You're really particular. This has nothing to do with me. It's what's expected of a knight. Wait. All I have to do is be neat and tidy, and I can become a knight? Forget all that studying, then. I'm just gonna work on being the neatest and tidiest one here. I... wait. Th that is not what I said. Oh, really? You're probably right. I shouldn't bother with the neat and tidy stuff. You are impossible. Huh? Is that Ingrid? I'd better get out of here before she scolds me again. Actually, she looks kind of sad. Maybe I shouldn't run away. Hey! Ingrid! Why do you look so sad? Are you hungry or something? Oh, it's you. No, I'm not hungry. You're not hungry? But you're sad anyway? I don't get it. Are you sick? No. Then are you sure you're not hungry? I just told you that wasn't it. It's nothing you can help with anyway. Well, sometimes you gotta talk it out. That's what my grandpa says. Yeah, I guess that's helpful sometimes. Are you willing to listen, then? Of course! Uh, please, go ahead. I've just received yet another letter from my father regarding a marriage arrangement with a noble family. I see, I see. I am the only person in House Galatea capable of carrying on our family line, of passing on a crest. Ah, I see, I see. I've long understood that it would be expected of me to marry, of course. Hmm, I see. I see. Raphael, are you even listening? I'm right there with you, but... Did you hear that ominous sound? Was that... thunder? Sorry. All that listening made me hungry. After hearing you out, I think you're probably just hungry too. And your troubles are sure to go away after a good meal. I really am not hungry, but I can't say no to good food. All right, let's just eat then. I can tell you about my struggles some other time, maybe. Eating? In the dining hall. You? What do you mean? The dining hall's where I do most of my eating. If only the old version of you could hear you say that. It seems to me you've taken more care with your appearance of late, too. For once, you aren't covered in gravy and oil from head to toe. I'm impressed. Of course not, Ingrid. A proper knight has to be neat and tidy. All right, what have you done with Raphael? It's all thanks to you. You said I had to clean up if I wanted to be a knight, so I started being more careful. Do you think I have what it takes now? You've certainly become more knightly than before. But there's plenty yet to do to become a proper knight. It's not as simple as eating where you're meant to and not being covered in gravy. <laughs> Maybe I'd have a better chance if I just married you. Uh, what does that have to do with anything? You're real cultured, that's all. You already taught me to be neat and tidy. I figured you could teach me a lot more about being a proper knight if I always had you around. That would be quite the undertaking for me. 
Listen, Raphael. That's sweet of you. However, as I've said before, I've no intention to marry. Let's cast aside this talk of marriage, and instead embolden one another to be the best knights we can be. You're right. Probably a better idea to just embolden each other instead. As long as I still get your help with becoming a proper knight. While you're working to be more proper, I'll be working to strengthen myself, that I might become a greater knight than you. Huh. <laughs> I don't know about that. I'm pretty tough. But, I guess if anyone could beat me, it'd probably be you, Ingrid. Guaranteed. Thank you, Raphael. That means a lot to me.